What's up guys? Shed Juice here. It's uh, August 10th on a Saturday. About to go hit up the garage sales. Uh, we're going to hit up a community sale first. It's one that I don't think I've ever been to, so it's kind of cool. It's about 25 minutes away from my house. So we're going to go there and see how we do. We're going to find some stuff. For you? What about for me? Yeah. Alright. Let's go see what we can find. Sign back here. The neon. Oh, the neon? Yeah. Um, okay, you're good. I'll go 50 on it because <laughs> it needs repair. Bye. Thank needs you. Repair. Have um, a good one. The blue neon tube. <laughs> and the blue neon tube has. And I, I looked into repairing it and having it repaired. Yeah. To have it repaired was going to be about 100. Right. That broke from there to there. Oh, that stinks. And so that needs to be repaired. <clears throat> okay. Um, but yeah, I uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah. I'd be interested in what you got. Hi, pretty girl. What's her name? That's Myrtle and Munchkin. Yeah. Myrtle and Munchkin. Little babies. They're little babies. Hi. They talk a lot? Yeah. It's not on demand, but... <laughs> yeah. I know how that is. Especially when you're out of the room. <laughs> Pretty cool. Hey, doggy. Hey, doggy. Thank you, boo. You. Okay. Didn't have any old Nintendo or Sega stuff, or no, no. How much you want on these? I would say five dollars for all of them. For all. She wanted a dollar for this, would you just take five for all of it? Gold foam stuff. Um, yeah. All right. Hey there, how's it going? Hello. I have his sale, so why don't you get him ready? Thank you. I'll take him <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, they're all in the boxes. Yeah. They're all in there. Alright, yeah. Thanks. Yep, have a good one. Uh, everything is well-priced, I think, at this point. Okay. <laughs> it's negotiable, let me know. Okay, thanks. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you guys have any video game stuff? There's one video game. Do you have any more video games you don't have out? Do you have any old stuff? Like old Nintendo, Sega, no, PlayStation? I wish, but no, we sure don't. Gotcha. Yeah, I wish I would have kept that long ago. Okay, 
morning. Does it have any old video game stuff at all? Video games? No, I don't. No? Okay. Yeah, 130 firm wood. How much are the Funko box? Uh, seven each. Seven each? Yep. Yeah. Stop. What's up guys, shad juice, a little shad juice in the back. Just wrapping up at the yard sales, it's like a little after one o'clock. Uh, we went to the Springdale community sale. First time I've ever came out to this one, it was non-stop sales. Uh, a lot of duds, but uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff, a lot of media stuff. We got like a whole big cabinet of VHS. 90% horror for like 20 bucks, man. She had me, she had like four cabinets sent out, and uh, I had picked so many movies out, so she just told me to like fill one of the cabinets up with movies, so pretty good, man. I got tons of cool old horror movies, so I just sold one for $55 not that long ago. So. I just got some video games. Yeah, we got some video games, got all kinds of stuff, man. Some sealed new sealed stuff. I got, I got a, a, a music DVD that will blow your mind on how much it's worth and who it is. It's, it's just crazy. But, uh, we'll be getting home and uh, doing the pickups here soon. So stay tuned. Alright guys, we're back home now. Got a lot to show you. So let's get to it. Uh, one of the first sales I went to was the first sale I went to. They had this A-Track player. Um... It actually is a Marantz, but it's missing the plate that goes right here. And uh, I looked this up, and this actually goes, sells for about $130, but it don't have the plate. It isn't tested yet, so I don't know if it works or not. But the guy only wanted $5, so. So, yeah, he only wanted 5 bucks for this. I actually left it. Left it and walked back to the car. I was like, why am I leaving an A-Track player that's a Marantz, even though that's messed up? Save myself for 75 bucks. So, we'll see. I got to test it. Hopefully, it works good. It's a model number TDR820, if you want to look it up. There's the back. But, yeah, five bucks, man. I had to, had to get it. I also had this little uh, executive desk chum. It's like got a letter opener and stuff. And it's not worth nothing. I'm going to take it to work probably. Pick that up for a dollar. I just thought it was cool. All right, this next sale, they had this big bag of phones. There's some flip phones in there, some Nokia, Sanyos, some chargers. There's a Motorola smartphone. They said a dollar. I just couldn't leave it for a dollar. And also at that sale, they had these games. Got Resident Evil Gold Edition. It's a slip cover. We got uh, Army of Two. Got Assassin's Creed Three. I didn't even open the cases. I opened this one. Actually, this game has gone up a little bit in price. Ninja Gaiden Two. It's probably about ten to thirteen dollars. So it's worth something. So we got them and the phones for five bucks. Another yard sale, we got uh, the Beatles. This is Abbey Road. Um, the record itself isn't in great condition. It's got a lot of scratching on it. See that deep one right there.
But for 50 cents, I'm going to leave it. I mean, at least the sleeve. Keep the sleeve. So I know I got uh, another one of these with a sleeve that's in worse condition. So got that for 50 cents. We got Godzilla versus the Sea Monster for 50 cents on VHS. Pretty good deal. Uh, we got these uh, like vintage Isotoner gloves. These are cashmere. I think I can get 20 bucks for these. These are brand new. Uh, they only wanted a quarter. See, the retail price is 65 at Macy's. I wonder if it's got a date on these. 2005, not as old as I thought. So I should be able to make some money on it. It's about to be winter time too. So that was a quarter. And there was also uh, some like, you know, that fabric stuff you put in cushions. I bought a bag of that for a quarter. So not a bad deal. At another sale, we got uh, the Rolling Stones, like greatest hits from those years. Got some pretty good songs on there. And at the same sale, we got a uh, Richard Pryor collection. It's got the toy, which by itself, that movie's worth good money. Uh, Stir Crazy, See No Evil, Hear No Evil with Gene Wilder. So that's sealed. That could go for about 10 bucks. I like that movie, The Toy. It's a good movie if you've never seen it. All right, we got a couple rap CDs, 50 Cents P, Styles P, M.O.B., Jay-Z, Reasonable Doubt, and Jay-Z, uh, American Gangster. It was like the soundtrack, the movie with Denzel Washington in it. We got uh, Never Have I Ever. I think this is an expansion pack, maybe, but... He makes some money off of that. Uh, picked up some PS3 games for a bucket piece. Infamous 1 and 2. And uh, Batman Arkham Asylum Game of the Year Edition. I always try to pick up uh, PS3 games and Xbox 360 games if they're a dollar. If they're decent titles. I uh, went up to another sale. He had uh, Xbox 360 out that he wanted 65 bucks for. Which I wasn't into. But I got talked to him and he brought out three Nintendo games. We got Tetris, Mario Duck Hunt, and Galaga. He sold me these for five bucks for all three. It's about a $12, $13 game. That ain't much, you know that. Solid deal for $5. All right, what do we get at this sale? We got this. Oh, okay. At this sale, we got uh, this camera. It's marked four bucks. It's Paul's. All right, we got the camera out, guys. It's a Pentax K1000. And uh, this camera goes for about at least 40, 50 bucks. And they wanted four bo four dollars for it. Got this flash as a sun pack auto zoom. Not sure if that's worth anything or not. I didn't look it up. But for four bucks, can't beat that. It's just in there. Old Sony battery just exploded. Some film. At the same sale, we got this uh, Yaziel Puig uh, bobblehead. He just got traded from the Reds. Everybody here loved him while I was here, so. He might come back, who knows. But this goes for about 30 bucks. I paid five for it. They wanted 10. There's a guy before me grabbed like four or five bobbleheads before me, but he left this one, so I'll take it. I'll make $30 on that and that camera. And something Mikey got, I paid $12 for all three, so that was a pretty good deal. You'll see what Mikey got at the end of the video. All right, walked up to this sale. This was listed at the 20 bucks. I got it for 10. These aren't that expensive because they're so mass produced, I guess. I might just keep this one. But then we got this. It's a Luma surround Wi-Fi system. Original price is $99.99. They had it marked 40. I offered 20. He came back with 25 and I held firm at 20. And we came to 20. So this sells for about $75 new. So that's a good deal. So I paid 30 for both. 
I'll double up easily. Keep that probably. Went to one side, they said they got more of their most game, video game system right when it opened. And uh, I just kept poking around, and he said they had this DS they couldn't get to work. And uh, they had a charger for it. Ended up paying two bucks for it. I mean, I could sell that for parts, keep the charger, make some money there. I'm happy just getting a charger too, so. All right, I went up to another sale. I wish I'd have had it on video, but. I didn't get a lot of clips out at the sales today, so it's mostly gonna be a recap. But uh he had these games sitting out and like I got excited and then he had like 20 bucks, 15 bucks, 12 bucks, 12 bucks. We didn't pay those prices. We got Mario Party 7 on the GameCube. Missing manual. Still about $25 game at least. Got Mario Superstar Baseball, missing the manual. Mario Party 8, which is complete. Kirby's Return to Dreamland. That's a $30 game. Then he brought these out. We got Ghostbusters on the Master System. That's complete. I might keep that just because I collect Ghostbusters stuff. Not really a Master System fan. We got Sonic 2 complete. And Shadow of the Colossus in really nice condition. So we end up making a deal at $35 for all them games. Which is more than you want to pay at a yard sale, but when this pretty much gets us your money back, and that'll be a $25. That'll be $15. That's probably $10 to $15, I'm not sure. At least $10 to $15. So we're doing good for $35. Sometimes you gotta pay up a little bit, you know, people know what they got. So some people do. A couple CDs here. We got Daughtry Deluxe Edition. Got a few fighters. Which one's this? Nothing left to lose. There's the tracks if you want to see. Them two were a buck. All right, guys. We went to another sound. I had a bunch of uh, CDs and DVDs, and uh, there's a. Uh, DVDs, I was picking out some good new sealed ones. And one that's this ridiculous price. I can't... It's crazy. But uh, anyways, I ended up just going how much you want for everything. This box is filled with tons of like soundtrack CDs. You want to take a look. I mean, there's other stuff mixed in, but... You know, Desperado, Usual Suspects, Pulp Fiction, Dust Till Dawn. Said her uh, dad used to work in the movie business too, so I guess that's where he got a lot of this stuff. Batman new, Dumb and Dumber. Didn't even see what these are. Some samplers. Mike Jones, who? We got uh, it's all kinds of CDs in there if you want to scroll over them here. There's some more here. I know there's people that are a lot into music like I am. I'm sure there's some I'll keep. I'm going to lot a lot of the soundtrack ones together. There's some more here. Lady Gaga. Alice in Chains. Some of these are new. So I'm just going to look up, see if they're worth anything. Alright, this is what I, the original stack I had. We got Bug Buster. This is brand new. This is kind of a obscure movie. And then on the back it says screening copy, not for resale. So that could be worth more money. Not too sure. We got this called the Misery Brothers Y2K. I don't know nothing about this. But I couldn't find one online. So that could be obscure. We got Wishmaster, Wes Craven. No. I love the old cape. Flip cases like that. Pretty good condition. We got a gridlock with Tupac, brand new. We got the hitcher and the snap case, and uh, that's like $15. Got Eric Clapton, the cream of Clapton, brand new. Some more CDs here. The specials, I think that's worth a little bit of money too. Got the Grandmaster, Blu-ray. 
Andrea Charlie and Knight in Tuscany. I mean, that could be worth something. I didn't look it up. Outlaw Justice with uh, Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson. Still sealed. Kung Fu Zombie. I don't know nothing about that. Another sealed movie, Swan Lake. <laughs> like ballet, I guess. We got The Borrowers. That could be worth something. That's still uh, brand new sealed. It's got John Goodman in it. That's cool. I've never seen that. <laughs> you guys are going to shit when you see this one. Hanson, right? Tulsa, Tokyo in the middle of nowhere. Brand new sealed. There's a like an excellent condition open one sold for $99. Another one sold for $50 something dollars. This one's brand new sealed. Like who would think that this is worth any money? Hanson. But you know, there's some crazy collectors of Spice Girls and Hanson stuff. So I'm thinking I can get over a hundred dollars for this because it's brand new. I mean, we'll keep track of it and see what happens, but that's insane. That's definitely like the find of the day just on one item. That's <laughs> that's insane, man. All right, uh, let's go. We got a couple more. We got a couple bats. We got this D Marini. Uh, what's that? Vexum. It's not worth a whole lot. It's a 31 inch, 28 ounce. I'd say it's about 25 to 30 dollar bat. I had Mark 10. Uh, then we got a Worth BJ Falk series. It's a Mayhem. This one is a 34 inch, 26 ounce. This should go to a between 40 to 60 range. So I ended up paying 12 bucks on both. He wanted 15 on that one at first, so. He was, starting price was 25, got it down to 12. I should do good. I should make money just on this bat. All right, let's go back there and see what's back there. Went to another sale and he had a reel to reel player and he had a reel to reel music. Now, some of this can be worth a lot of money, like good classic rock stuff. But uh, we'll show you what we got. This is a Sony PR150. I don't know if that one's ever been used or not. That could be a blank. We got uh, Diane Warwick, Valley of the Dolls. I didn't look all these up. Here's another recorded one. Some of these got what they have on there. Some Motown. Moto Town. Yeah, that's some Motown, but they definitely spelled Motown wrong. Moto Town. The only thing that sucks is I ain't got a way to test this, so I'm going to put untested on them. We got uh, Ray Charles, A Man in the Soul. Another Dion Warwick. West Montgomery, A Day in the Life with a bunch of cigarette butts on it. We got Lou Rawls. See if it's got my son on there. It's definitely good. I got another one that's probably got some other stuff on here. I don't see a list on that one. I did look this one up. Marvin Gray's Ga Marvin Gaye's Greatest Hits. This is about forty dollars. The best of the impressions. Diana Ross and the Supremes with the Temptations. Pretty cool. And a couple more uh, recordable ones. Let's see what's on this one. The Ventures. I don't know who the Ventures are, really. And we got one more. Ah, oh, it's going to be a pain, huh? Yeah, that one don't say anything in it. So, uh, he originally said $2 a piece. And, uh, what does see? There's two, four, six, eight, ten, thirteen. And I got them for 13 bucks. So I paid a buck a piece. So, good deal. 
definitely should make some money on it. I'm going to just get to list them as untested and see what happens. So, first time picking up reel to reel music. I know Lonnie at Garage Flips got some uh, good classic rock stuff and he made a fortune on that, killing on it. So, uh, let's go to my last pickup. <laughs> this is interesting. So I pull up to the sale and they got four VHS holders like this. Packed with VHS stuff and I see tons of horror movies. I just sold uh, Attack of the Killer Clowns first edition for 55 bucks. VHS tape. So and they said a quarter a piece and I just started piling up the uh, <laughs> piling up the horror VHS tapes. We'll go through them. I'm not going to mention every one of them. I know it's sunny out here, guys. Got the Frighteners. That's brand new. A lot of good stuff in here. I don't know if there's any rare ones or not. I didn't look them up. I just picked up anything interesting. There's some Puppet Masters, Phantasm. There's Phantasm 2. People under their stairs. All kinds of good stuff, man. There definitely could be some uh, rare ones in here. If not, I'll just lot some up. Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight. That's cool. Soul Taker. I got Creep Show down there. I know I got Creep Show 2. I got an Ozzy, some Star Wars. A lot of Power Rangers. Uh, she said 20 bucks for the whole thing packed with VHS tapes. So I had to fill this up. So I was just grabbing some stuff that wasn't worth a lot. Got some Turtles, Drop Dead Fred. Got some Transformers, some Porkies, some X-Men, and some more Power Rangers. So I got all that for 20 bucks. It's crazy. It's crazy heavy. I hate getting this in the garage. Also, for five more bucks, we got this stuff. It's a few more uh, Power Rangers VHS tapes. This one fell out the back of the car and cracked, so I'm going to pitch that. But then we got these night it's called nightmare it's a board game but you got to use vhs tapes with it and then we got like the expansions for it nightmare two and three this goes for about 35 bucks so if i add them two with it i mean that should at least be 50 dollars easy so i paid 25 dollars for this whole thing with all the tapes there pretty cool definitely got a crap ton of media today so I ain't got a problem with that. This stuff's easy to ship. So, got all that media, all that. Bunch of media down there. So, it's a pretty good day. Uh, probably spent a couple hundred bucks. So, I still can't believe that's gonna, that could be a hundred dollar sale right there, man. That's crazy. But, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna show Mikey's clip here. So we'll end it on that. Here we goes. All right, guys, let's see what Mikey picked up today. What'd you get, boy? I got a monster mutt truck. Monster mutt monster truck? Yeah. How much was that? Dollar. It was one dollar. What else you get? What is that? Nerf blaster bow and arrow. A Nerf blaster bow and arrow. Whoa. Oh. Uh, yeah, you might not want to do that. You just shot that in the wheat in the trees. In the trees? I think it's gone. I have another one. How much was that? How much was that? Eight dollars. No, it was three dollars. You wouldn't know because you didn't pay for it, right? Eh. It comes with extra darts. Good deal, huh? Four bucks. Monster truck and a Nerf bow and arrow. What do you say? I don't have a Nerf bow and arrow. What do you say? Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Say peace out. Peace out. Later. Later. Are you